Replication is another aspect of Oracle and many other relational databases that is used to replicate or distribute information to other databases. In other words, you'd have a single master and if you didn't want conflict between the master and the slave databases, you could take information from the master and replicate or copy it out to one or more slave databases, say in different parts of the country or having different functions on the slave databases, and you could copy it out once a day, once an hour, however often you want to do it. It's a method of splitting databases into different pieces. There are other ways. Replication is a little bit perhaps antiquated and perhaps out of date, but it's still very much in use and has some very specific applications and it's useful in some cases. There are two very basic types of replication. Now the details of replication are extremely complicated. In Oracle it currently uses what's called Oracle Streams which is basically a pipeline between different databases. It used to use some very complicated software which is as far as I know, in Oracle 11G, it doesn't use that anymore. It uses a very simple connection between databases. But there's two types, and it's either master to slave, where it simply duplicates the information from the master, writes to the slave, and reads from the master. A much more complicated form of replication is where it can replicate from master to master in other words, it can read and write to all databases across the network. As unidirectional, that's complicated, very cumbersome, and very slow in certain situations. When selecting things like Oracle Rack, Oracle Standby, Data Guard, Replication, be very careful that you're actually applying the different technology where that technology is intended to be used. In other words, don't don't use replication to do standby failover. Um, don't use Oracle Rack to cater to backups. You still need to have backups. You don't want to mix the technologies too much unless you're trying to save a lot of money. Just be very careful what you're actually doing. In some ways, it's better to keep it as simple, stupid as you possibly can. Oracle Rack is the norm nowadays but it's not necessarily the only option. You can still have one or more single instance databases. They are much simpler to use, but obviously they are much less powerful. And once again, getting back to the manual, we can go into the master book list again and look up the word replication. As you can see, it's called Streams Replication, right here. There's a lot to read here as well. Again, advanced for this course, but all I'm trying to show you is that it's part of the Oracle architecture. It exists. You can go and read it if you want, and you know basically what it's for.